I've always wanted to go to a cat cafe. Um, I used to play this mobile game called Nekotsume, where you like leave out treats for cats and they would visit you. So I thought that going to a cat cafe would kind of be a similar experience, except there'd be food. Uh, but interestingly enough, this cat cafe wasn't a cafe. It was just a bunch of cats, which I wasn't complaining about. I basically shelled out 10 bucks, went to some place in Rahway, and all of these cats were like scattered throughout the building and all of them were available for adoption. And there's a bunch of toys and they all kind of hung out. Oh my God, her hair. Now, this was actually pretty interesting. There's this uh, a pretty eclectic group of people that wanted to go see the cats that day. There were these three little boys and they saw me filming the cats. So they were insistent on like helping me get footage. I didn't want to show their faces because they were kids, but uh, that was real pretty cool. Um, and I remember there's these two teenagers, these two teenage girls, and they were just like having a, a little day for themselves. This father and son, I'm pretty sure they were Russian. And they were like, I think in, in their 30s, you know, the son was old. Uh, so it was just interesting to see such a interesting group of people uh, come and see the cats and not just like a bunch of randos in their 20s like me. All the cats were so precious. I think that cats are one of the coolest animals. And I like the whole like nine lives thing. Um, makes me grateful for the life that I have now and excited for the other eight lives that I may have lived. And then because there wasn't any food, I got really hungry. So I freaking drove my ass to Ikea and I beasted, beasted some Ikea meatballs. Like I think I ascended a little bit. Fun fact about me is that I think a week after I was born, my parents brought me to Ikea. So Ikea is like my blood, dude. I, I I eat, live, and breathe Ikea. I love Ikea. And Ikea food, oh, dude. <laughs>